April here and I had a question the other day about my hydration pack that I use for training and racing. A lot of people paddle both outrigger and stand up and I do find that the pack that I like for outrigger is not the same pack that I like for stand up. So I'm going to go through the four main packs that I use. So I'm going to start with just kind of the, the simplest one that I've had for the longest. The Camelback Charm, it used to be purple. It used to be this beautiful, rich purple color. It's pretty old. It holds a liter of cola, I mean a liter of water. There's no kind of bells, no whistles, nothing fancy about it. It just latches over. So if I'm going for like a quick paddle and I just it's really hot or humid in North Carolina and I want to have water but I'm not worried about bringing anything extra um, nutrition wise then this is my go-to pack same for racing any race under about eight miles so if i'm not going to be out for longer than an hour and a half i'm going to wear this it's enough liquid for me it's light and it stays out of my way when i'm stand up paddling so this is and oh wait yeah. All right, I fixed the hose in my Camelback Charm. My husband just said, you don't mind it in your armpits like that? It's actually not in my armpit at all. My armpit is up here. This is my side boob, and it is not harming my side boob. I uh, have worn this pack without uh, sleeves, without a shirt, and it's fine. There's like a really, really soft piping along the edges. Sometimes I'll angle it. I can reach it if I need it like that. And this is, as long as I'm stand up paddling, this is perfect. It does not contact, it does not get in my way at all. I'm not doing anything crazy it, that I need it cinched down. So again, this is gonna be like a mellow paddle where I don't need a ton of water, I don't need any additional nutrition, and I don't need it to hold very still. So almost identical, I won this at a race, I did not buy it, but I've been using it quite a lot, is the Dekine pack. And again, it's almost completely identical in every single way to the charm, except that it has two external pockets. So if I needed to bring like a multi-tool or sometimes I'd put this on here during the gorge to bring a pair of shoes with me uh, because the rocks, so if you need to bring a little extra something with you, then the Dekine pack's a little bit better than the Charm, but my uh, water needs are about the same. Also, if I'm gonna be doing something that's in and out of the surf zone, or something that's a little, just I want it a little more sturdy, I do use this one because it's got the, the clip. And so this one I definitely wear with a with a shirt. I have not worn this one without a shirt yet because I think this would get on my nerves, but this is a little bit more stable than the Camelback Charm because of the chest strap. I believe Camelback has essentially that model with a chest strap as well. So I don't, I'm not like affiliated with any hydration pack brand. So, so I'm using these for stand up and I'm using these for short ish courses in stand-up. So if it's under an hour and a half, I'm using one of these. I'm using this in training and I just want to go out and I don't need anything. I'm using this if I need it to feel a little more snug on my body. Now, also for stand-up, this is Nathan's running pack for trail running. It has, it's like a, an eight point harness or something. I don't know, it's ridiculous. This is what you might have seen any photos of me starting the Carolina Cup. I have cinched this to fit my body so perfectly. It stays out of my armpits, perfectly fit because I got to strap all these different strappy spots and then it does go under here but it holds everything in such a perfect location. I don't get any rubs, any hot spots at all. It's also pretty good if you're gonna have any, any moments where you're sloshing around. And the reason I choose this pack over the others for any longer distance race, so I can have nutrition, fuel, 
an emergency cramp stop. Oh look, I ate an RX bar at some point. So this is my go-to for any stand-up race that is longer than an hour and a half that I'm gonna wanna bring stuff with me. Now, when I paddle outrigger, I don't use any that go around the shoulders up on my back. I just, for some reason, I think it's because the boat is so much narrower, my stroke is therefore narrower because no matter what craft you're in, you're trying to keep the shaft straight up and down. And on stand-up, your stance is wide and you're kind of coming out a little far, far. And so there's always a pretty big gap in between the camelback or the hydration pack straps and my arm when I'm going through this motion, it's not rubbing. Now, imagine you're in the canoe and I think everything's just a little tighter. And so I do, I get a rub really bad if I use a backpack style hydration pack. In the Outrigger, I'm always using this waist pack camelback. I always take an inflatable style life vest and I put it in here and I seal it down. So this becomes my whistle, my inflatable PFD, and my hydration. So I create a big single unit that has everything I need so I don't have to have a bunch of stuff on me. And so in Rob's question, he said that he felt that the waste packs inhibit his ability to rotate and hinge. I personally, it might just be my body shape, my torso, but I wear it pretty high up above. So if my tailbone is here, it's above the small of my back. The small of my back is still open. So it's kind of, my belly button's actually down here. And so I'm wearing it around a proper waist. So your waist being where old ladies wear their pants and then kids these days, those really high-waisted things. Anyway, I can't wear those because I don't have a torso. But where your waist is, is where it's like at its thinnest point. So I think if you wear your hydration pack, your waist style hydration pack there, I don't see, I've never had any problems with my hinging. I don't like it being here in stand up, and I don't feel any, because it's cinched very tightly, I don't feel any issues with rotating. I'm actually, I'm very happy with this. So this is what I use for outrigger. A lot of times I will wear a string and then I tie a string to this. I'm gonna get me one of those, the bendy things next so that I can put it in here and get the bendy hose to hold it like right here at all times so I don't have to like grab it and drink. So that'll be the next step. But that is a rundown of the four hydration packs I use and why and what I think is awesome about them. Ask questions in the comments and I will reply.